Hi, I'm Ryan Stenler, Sales and Technical Associate here at Pope Scientific. Today I'm going to be showing you first and second pass on our Pope 2-inch white film molecular still. To start off, I filled my feed flask with the CBD crude oil that I'll be running today. As you can see, I'm feeding in the crude oil at around a rate of 600 grams per hour. The crude will then come down the arm of the main body and into the actual column. That's where it will be being wiped around and then the heat from the main body is going to be distilling over your terpenes in this pass. Everything else, including your cannabinoid, as well as residue, will be coming down into your right flask here. So while that's going on, over here is your external condenser. Right now I have the external condenser set to negative 15 degrees Celsius. That gives a nice cool surface for whatever light terpenes as well as potential residual solvent gets blown over and then will collect down in this flask here. Next to that is the cold trap. The cold trap is, is cooled by an immersion probe chiller uh, that we have provided by PolyScience. In this cold trap is kind of what you want to call your last line of defense. Essentially you're going to be condensing down whatever solvent, most likely ethanol, that's in your material. This prevents it from getting down into your vacuum hose and into your vacuum pump itself. So an overview, the first pass is designed to distill over terpenes as well as the residual solvent that's in your material. Doing this will allow you to achieve a better vacuum when you get to your second pass. The second pass is where you'll actually process your cannabinoids and separate all the undesired materials from them. In this pass, we're separating the CBD from the crude. As you can see, I have the material loaded in the feed flask and it's feeding down into the main column. This is where you're going to be separating your CBD, your distillate, from the rest of your residue material, the waste. On the left here, you have your distillate. When processing cannabinoids, you're looking at anywhere from 60 to 70 percent being in your crude extract. So, when you're processing, you want to see relatively close to that ratio. As you can see, I have a little bit more distillate than I do residue coming in. Typically with CBD, you have more of an amber profile than the golder profile you see in the THC cannabinoid. The residue then is going to be a thick, very viscous material. If you have any questions about running your first or second pass on your Pope white film molecular still, feel free to reach out to any of us sales or technical associates that can help you with that process.